Hey friends, tonight we're going to have a serious talk about this election and how it's going to impact us here on our homestead. Let's go. So friends, I just wanted to have a talk with you tonight. If you are feeling upset about this election or if you're having a lot of anxiety about it, I want to talk about how it's going to affect us here on our homestead. And that is probably not at all. I know you're going to get uh, crazy about that comment, but we moved out here for a reason. And that's why I encourage all of you to do the same thing. Move out to a country homestead and things like what's happening now in the cities with all the riots, even though it looks like uh, Biden will win, those things will not hardly affect you at all. Now, it doesn't matter who I voted for. It doesn't matter who you voted for, right? I want our country to be healed, but I know it won't be. And here's why. Biblical prophecy. Biblical prophecy tells us that right before Christ's second coming, there the world will be like in Noah's day. So if you read how bad the people were in Noah's day and why God had to wash the earth clean with that flood, then you understand how people, well, actually it says those people were going to be worse than in Noah's day. So I want you to keep that in mind because everything we do, we do with a biblical perspective, uh, a biblical worldview on our channel and faith. Faith drove us here. Faith drove us out of the cities. Faith drove us to take care of our family here by providing food for them, providing stuff for them uh, to eat, and providing stuff for us to eat, being more self-sufficient, things like that. Again, I encourage you to do that with your families also. But if you're worried about, oh no, this horrible, evil person has gotten into office, whatever side you're on, it doesn't matter. If you worried about that, I want you to to cast your cares upon God. Cast your cares upon Him because God puts people in a places of leadership for a reason, right? Hear me out on this. He put Nebuchadnezzar, a crazy, horrible, dictatorial, crazy king of the largest uh, empire on earth, Babylon. He put him there and used him for his will. If you read that Bible... He used him for his will. So, could God use Biden for his will? Yes. Did he use Trump and put him there for a reason? Yep. Obama? Yeah. Bush? Yeah. Clinton? Yes. Bush won. Reagan? I can go back the entire way. Um, God puts these people in power for reasons. Now, now, here's the kicker. We have free will. So, God gives us all opportunities in our lives to turn to him, to turn to that, uh, that soft voice inside calling you to do the right thing, he calls us all to do that. So whether those men listened or didn't listen is on them. God put them in those positions for a reason and they will do his will or they will choose not to do his will, right? So I do not want you to worry. I want you to prepare. Not only prepare your hearts and study the Word of God, but prepare your family. Prepare. Get out of the cities. Quit your job. Change careers. Sell everything you have. Move out. And be more self-sustaining. More, more uh, self-prepared. And take care of your family that way. Now, if it looks like the new administration is more authoritarian, they probably are. Will my taxes go up? They probably will. Will uh, I lose some personal freedoms? Maybe, maybe not. But I've put myself in a place where I can weather those types of storms even better. Now I'm not naive. Could they come knocking over my gate on my property tomorrow if I have the wrong political views? Of course they can, but that's God's will, and I will represent Him whatever happens, you know, through whatever happens. That being said, anxiety and fear for these things is unbiblical. So you need to cast your cares upon Him and not fear, because fear is sinful, actually. A different kind of fear. Fear of the Lord, reverence of 
who God is, is biblical. Fear for what's going to happen to you is not because God is always in control. If he wasn't in control, he wouldn't be God. So friends, I want you to stop worrying. I want you to put away that anxiety. I want you to cast your cares upon him in heaven. And I want you to start preparing. So doing all these things will put your mind at ease about what's going to happen and what's happening right now. Continue to move forward. Prepare yourself the way you need to prepare. And everything's going to be all right. But even though I'm saying everything's going to be all right, you have to understand biblical prophecy to understand that things will get worse and worse, like I mentioned, right before Christ's second coming. So things that you think are bad now, like the election of somebody you don't like, will pale in comparison to what's going to happen. So please prepare yourself for that by studying the Word of God, okay? Now, if you're casting your hopes on a man, then you got an issue. If you put your hopes in men whose hearts are above deceitful and wicked, as the Bible tells us, then that's a problem. Any man, a head of a church, a man of, uh, who's a head of a church, a pastor, a politician, you know, anybody like that. If you put your hopes, dreams, everything upon them, you're not putting your hopes and dreams and uh, cares in the right place. Give those to God, not to men. Do not expect them to do anything for you. Because men cannot do anything for you. They cannot do anything for you in terms of your eternal life. So, the life you have here, live it the best you can. Be as kind as you can to one another. So, take care of your family. Put away the anxiety, put away the fear, and deal with what we have to deal with right now. So if you can't stand the guy that was there before, and you, or you can't stand the guy that's about to get in, you got to deal with it. It's not We can't change it now, right? Unless some craziness happens and people think about hurting other people, which is beyond what a Christian should be thinking about. Take this opportunity to tell people about the Lord. Tell people about how to provide for themselves and to rely on the Lord to give you the knowledge to help you provide for yourselves. Obviously this. Get out of the cities. Take care of your family. Love each other. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.